Hey everybody, welcome back to Without Code. My name is Ashton. Let's do a quick walkthrough of our new Google Calendar widget for the builder. This is a super simple way to display your own Google Calendars on your Without Code website. You can display any calendar you've created as long as it's set to public and there's some awesome display features available here such as clicking on events. This brings up a little pop-up into view displaying the event details. You can easily navigate through months and linking to calendars inside your Google account is super simple. Let's jump into the builder. And I'm working with our eyewear template. Let's jump into our widget library, scroll all the way down to business, grab our Google Calendar widget and drop it into a new row on our homepage here. Perfect. Now once it's landed, you're welcome to resize it in your row here using the blue handle on the bottom right. Wouldn't recommend going too small, however. It does need a decent amount of space to display things properly on the page. Let's click into the settings panel. Front and center here will be a prompt to log into your Google account. Now, super convenient because you can get everything linked up here without ever having to leave the settings panel in the builder, which is nice. So I'm gonna click sign in with Google. Forgive the several accounts here. I'm just gonna use one of my business emails and it will prompt you through this process automatically. It's gonna ask for a password or if you've already signed into the account that you wanna use, it'll simply prompt you to allow access to your calendars like it's doing now. So we'll click allow and give it a moment to refresh, and it's that simple. We can see now in the panel that our business email is linked up properly, and we now have some additional settings we can configure. We see that it automatically brought in the available calendars to show from this email account. I'll just use the default one for this email. I just added some sample events as we can already see in the editor here. And finally, an option to decide if you want your week starting day to be Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Let's pop over to the design section real quick. We've got quite a few options here, most of which are very self-explanatory, so definitely dive in and experiment on your own. No need to cover each one in detail in this tutorial, but a couple things I will note. The calendar is going to be pulling events from what you've input into your calendar on the Google end, so to update it, same process applies. Update your calendar directly on Google and it will then be reflected in the widget. And like I mentioned before, make sure all privacy settings for your calendar are set to public, or they're not going to be visible with this widget. And finally, if you've added a new calendar after logging into an account with this widget, the calendar might not appear in the list in the widget panel here. So to correct this, simply disconnect and then reconnect the Google account in the settings panel to refresh the list. So that pretty much covers this one. Have fun applying this one to your sites. Any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to let us know in support for additional assistance. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.